फ्रेंड्स पीएचपी सेशन एंड कुकीज आर टू इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन पीएचपी लर्निंग दिस वीडियो इज टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट द प्रैक्टिकल यूज ऑफ पीएचपी सेशन एंड कुकीज वील क्विकली रिव्यू देम एंड देन डेवलप ए स्मॉल एप्लीकेशन टू शो हाउ वी कैन यूज सेशन एंड कुकीज इन ए पीएचपी लॉग इन फॉर्म पीएचपी सेशन इज टू स्टोर इंफॉर्मेशन एंड यूज इट इन ऑल पेजेस ऑफ वेबसाइट यूजिंग सेशन वेरिएबल्स सेशन इज स्टोर्ड इन द सर्वर ओनली द सेशन आई डी इज स्टोर्ड इन द लोकल कंप्यूटर Use session start function to start a PHP session. All session variables are stored in a dollar session global variable. Use session unset function to unset a session variable, and use session destroy function to destroy the session. A cookie is a small file that server writes on the client's computer. Cookie is used to identify a user. We can set an expiration date for a cookie while creating it. After that, cookie will not be valid anymore. Unlike session cookie stored in the client's computer, we will use dollar underscore cookie global variable to read a cookie. With that, we will now develop a login system in PHP where we will use PHP session and cookies. So I have a login folder under XAMPP HT Docs, and there is a login dot PHP, and there is a CSS file style dot CSS. This login dot PHP is an HTML file only. There is no PHP code in it. we will open it in visual studio code so type cmd and enter then type code space dot enter so if we see login.php so we have used bootstrap 5 and the custom style sheet is used here this is a login form and it's a simple form we have an email id for the input and there is a password and if you see there is a submit button so it's a plain html file there is no php code added in it yet if we run it it will show here it's a login.php and you see that email and password is a two input fields and there is a login button here we'll change a little bit we'll add a menu bar on the top we'll add home login logout in the menu bar so we'll create a separate file here let us create header.php and we'll just cut it from here and put it in header.php and in the login in the login we'll add we'll include header.php and in header.php we'll add a menu so we'll just add div let's give the class name as header and then give a menu we'll add index.php home and here we'll give login login.php we'll just add some style here so we have the class name as header and menu dot header give a background color for the time being i am giving something here we'll change it later and give a padding top and bottom give around 20 px and then zero and for menu give a padding around 40 px and we have anchor tag here give some style for the anchor tag also give text decoration none give color white and increase the font size a little bit and add a padding 20 px so if you refresh now you can see there is a menu added on the top we'll change the color let's take this color paste it here and now refresh it so let's go to header.php index.php so you create index.php and here we'll just include header.php and just give an h1 home page save it refresh it login.php home page okay let us now create a table in mysql we'll create the table in test database i have a script already written 
so i am creating a table named users and we have email name and password these are three fields and i am inserting two rows here two users in the users table with email id name and password so these passwords are encrypted it's just 1 2 3 password and i am adding a primary key and a unique key for the email and auto increment for the id so i'll just create this table quickly i'll run it in sql click on go the table is created see there are two rows inserted and this is the structure of the table now we'll connect to database so you go to login.php and here we'll write database connection script we'll use new mysqli it needs four parameter let's give local host for the server and give root user there is no password for the root and give test database and we need to check for the error if there is any error we should stop here we should not proceed because we need database connection so we'll use die here give a message db connection failed and display the error message else just give a message saying that database connection is successful this is for testing purpose only we don't need to print successful connection so we'll just run it and see you can see it is showing database connection successful so this was for just testing purpose only we don't need to print successful message for database connection for error only we need to display the error message so i'll just remove it so now when the form is submitted we need to process the form we'll use email and password and check against database values so here let's see the name of the submit button name of the submit button is submit we'll just check whether the form is submitted or not if is set dollar underscore post submit if the form is submitted get the email first email and password also so if you see the name of the password field it's pwd we we'll just use stream here remove the spaces and then we'll check for empty values we need to check for the values whether the values are entered or not so we'll use if empty dollar email we'll use a variable here email error please enter the email else if so we'll just copy this and change it to pwd and similarly we'll have a password error please enter the password and we have two variables so we'll just we we'll just initialize them else we need to process the form process the input and we need to display the error message so we'll use this in the form for the email we'll add a div and this is for error message so we'll give a class bootstrap 5 class text danger and display the error message and copy this for the password also so at this moment we will stop and see whether this validation is working or not refresh it and without entering anything we'll just click on login so it's showing enter the email i just give something without password click on login please enter the password so our validation are working fine so we'll now check whether the email and password entered by the users are correct we'll check the values of email and password with the database values so we'll write an sql statement our table name is users we'll first check the email email equal to so we'll give a placeholder here instead of giving the direct value here and we'll use prepared statement let's use dollar statement let's see the database connection object we have a dollar connect object here so we'll use it here dollar connect and use prepare method prepare method needs an sql statement dollar sql and then 
we need to bind the parameter here bind param and we have email here so our parameter is email and it's a string so we give s and give the value of the email email is stored in dollar email so we'll use dollar email here and then execute the statement once it is executed we need to check the number of rows returned by the sql statement so we'll first get the result use get result method and then check the number of rows returned by the sql statement use num rows if it is greater than 0 which means email is correct so if the email is correct it will return a row so here just read email is correct else use the email error variable and give a message email is not registered so again we'll just test it if it is working so far so what we did we just selected the values of the email from the database and executed the sql statement and then checking the number of rows returned by the sql statement if the email is correct it will return a row so it will go in this if statement if email is not correct it will go in the else statement so we'll give a wrong email id and see whether it's working correctly or not so we'll refresh it and now we'll give a wrong email id give anything in the password so it says email is not registered so our validation is working we'll just display the email here so we'll add a value attribute in the form and we need to initialize this so refresh now give any email give password anything so email is not registered and it is displaying the email so we are fine with this so now we'll check the password so once we got this result let us get the value from the database dollar row equal to dollar result fetch associate we'll get the password stored in the database let us name is db underscore pwd equal to dollar row and see the column name in the database it is password this password is encrypted so we'll use password verify function and password verify needs two parameters the password that is entered by the user in the form and the encrypted password stored in the database password verify function which will verify the password is correct or not and dollar pwd is a, is the password entered by the user and db underscore pwd is the password stored in the database in the encrypted form if the password is correct it will return true so we'll check if password verify is correct so if password verify so here password is correct which means login is successful else use the password error variable incorrect password so we'll test this whether it is working fine for the incorrect password now we'll give the correct email id so let us use this email id so email id is correct and we'll give a wrong password click on login so it's saying incorrect password so our code is working fine now the login is successful so here we'll use php session to create a session variable to store the name of the user we'll use dollar session so we know that dollar session is used to create a session variable so we'll get the name of the logged in user you see in the database we have the name of the user we have name column so we'll use that dollar row give name so we are storing the name of the user in a session variable which is dollar underscore session name so at this moment we'll stop here so we have created a session variable to store the name of the user and we have already discussed that session is created in one page but can be accessed from all other pages also in the website and when you use dollar underscore session we need to start the session so at the beginning we'll start the session session start 
now we will create two more files here one is dashboard.php and the other one is logout.php so in the dashboard.php we will just copy this paste it here and change it to my dashboard close the body and close the html and in logout.php we will use session start and then we will use session unset to unset all the session variables and then we will destroy the session once logout is completed we will redirect the user to the home page okay so this is our logout we are starting a session then unsetting the session variables and then destroying the session and then redirecting the user to the home page so this is our logout.php and we have created another one dashboard.php now in the login.php we will redirect the user to the dashboard so we'll just copy this go to login.php once the session variable is created redirect the user to the users dashboard so we'll change this to dashboard.php so once the user is successfully logged in user can see the dashboard so that is what we are doing here and now we need to change our header so we'll add logout and dashboard just copy this dashboard and this is logout change it to logout.php and change it to dashboard.php so at this moment if we test it refresh it and we give a correct email id and password 1 2 3 login so you can see it is going to my dashboard and now we can see login dashboard logout so here login is successful and it is showing my dashboard now you can see that since the user is logged in we should not display the login we should display only dashboard and logout so let us change the code for the header.php we have a session variable here dollar session name we'll use it from the header.php also go to header.php and here check if the session variable is available or not home will always be displayed so we'll add php code here and check for if the session variable is available or not which means if the user is logged in or not so if is set dollar session name if the session variable is set which means user is logged in we need to display the dashboard and logout we just cut it and paste it inside this if statement and give else else we should display login so if the session variable is set which means if the user is logged in we are displaying dashboard and logout and if the session variable is not set which means user is not logged in so we'll display login.php and since we are using dollar session here we should start the session here also but you can see in the login.php we have included header.php and in login.php we have already started a session so we'll just check whether the session is on or not so if session id equal to blank then session start okay so now let us test it so we'll refresh it so now you see that it is showing dashboard and logout login is not displayed anymore so our code is working let's click on logout now you see it is showing login and logout and dashboard are not displayed now so let us test it again control c login so it is showing that so we'll display the user name and logout on the right side of the menu bar so let us change that go to header.php and here just give a div and within this div we we'll just add this 
we just display welcome then the username add a span element give welcome and then display the username it is in the session variable welcome then username and then log out and we'll give a class here booster 5 class float end so refresh it okay it is showing dashboard here and you can see the name of the user is displayed here and then log out we'll actually show the dashboard on the left side only so we'll change a little bit take the dashboard outside refresh it okay we'll change the color here so we add a style just give some color here refresh it so you can see the name of the user is displayed here and then log out and there's a dashboard you click on home dashboard and click on log out it's coming in the login click on login now we'll use a different user you can see the user is logged in another user is logged in here so click on log out okay so our session is working fine we need to add that in dashboard also so here we'll just check if the session variable is not available then we don't want to show the dashboard so here only the logged in user can see the dashboard so we'll just check if the session variable is available or not so if not is set dollar session give the name in that case we will redirect the user to the login page just copy this change it to login so what we are doing here since the dashboard is accessible only for the logged in user so we are redirecting the user to the login page using the session variable and since we are using dollar session here we need to start the session here okay so now if we just give dashboard.php here so it's coming in the login page if i log in it's coming in the dashboard i just copy this and log out now paste it and run it's coming in the login page so dashboard is not accessible when user is not logged in so our code is working fine so what we did we added session variable in the login page after successful login and use this session variable in dashboard.php and header.php which is available across all pages in the website now we'll add cookie in this login form so in the login form we'll add a checkbox here as remember me so when we say remember me we'll remember the email id not the password usually password is not uh, stored in the cookie because of security reason so we'll save email in the cookie not the password so we'll add a checkbox here as remember me so go to login.php and just after password add a checkbox bs5 form checkbox just remove this and change it to remember me give a name name equal to give remember and let us just test it so you can see the checkbox is added here as remember me so we'll create cookies for remember me only after successful login so here we'll just check first whether remember me checkbox is selected or not if is set dollar underscore post then give the name of the remember me checkbox it is remember name is remember if checkbox is selected then create the cookies create two cookies actually so one cookie will create for the email and other cookie will create for the remember checkbox so that in the next login email will be displayed and the checkbox will automatically be checked and to create the cookies we'll use set cookie functions we need the parameter for cookie name first is the cookie name so let us give this cookie email and then give the value of the cookies we have stored the email in the 
dollar email variable so the value of the cookie is dollar email and then we need to give the expiry date in seconds so we'll use time function which is the current time in seconds and then give plus so let us give this 30 days expiry so we'll use 60 60 second multiplied by 60 minutes and then 24 hours and then 30 days and then we need to give a path which is give the slash which will be available for the entire website and just copy this and we'll use this for remember me also we just add this if we set dollar post remember dollar rem equal to dollar post remember and we'll use this dollar rem as the value of the remember and here you just change it to rem and it will be also valid for 30 days so we created two cookies here one for the email and another for the checkbox and these two cookies are valid for 30 days let us just test it so refresh it and now we'll give the correct email id and password so just copy this check this checkbox login you can see login is successful let's see whether the cookies are created or not you can see cookie email is created but remember which cookie is not created so let's see so where is the problem let's see in the checkbox input field here we need to give a value here value is blank here so you just give a value let us just give one refresh it log out log in check this remember me checkbox click on login so now you can see two cookies are created email and for the remember me checkbox so the cookies are created fine but we are not displaying the cookies yet so if we log out log in it is not displayed here the email id and the remember me checkbox should be automatically checked so we need to do that now so if we see the login form we are displaying the email here as value dollar email so we need to change this so here we need to check from the cookie also so we need to check if email cookie is available then we have to get the email cookie and display it here and also we have to check for this checkbox and in this case also we have to check whether the cookie is available for the remember me checkbox if it is available it will be automatically checked so we'll use checked here so we'll use php code here just to check whether the cookie is available or not so let us add the code here let's use display email equal to we'll use ternary operator so if dollar email is not empty not empty dollar email then you will use dollar email else we will check if cookie email is available or not so just give is set give a bracket here and then is set dollar underscore cookie and we have the cookie email copy this then we will use this email from the cookie else give blank so what we are doing here we are just checking whether the email entered by the user is available we will display that then we will check if the cookie email is available if it is available we will display that email otherwise we will not display anything so just copy this and change it so we will use it as let us give uh, check dollar checked so if empty dollar rem so we have already used this dollar rem if you check here if you see here we have used dollar rem from the remember me checkbox the value so we'll use it here then here so we'll use checked and again else just give cookie rem then also we'll use checked cookies available give checked else blank and then we will display these values so display email should go here 
we have the variable dollar checked in the checkbox question mark equal to dollar checked so if the value is true checkbox will automatically be checked let us now test it you can see that since the cookies are available it is displaying the cookies and remember me checkbox is automatically checked login please enter the password login so login is successful since we have two cookies available so if i log out now it should display the email and the checkbox checked checkbox is checked and email is displayed so let us change that email we have another user test at test.com login now we can see the value is changed here so now what we will do we will just uncheck this uncheck this remember me so the cookies should be deleted click on login now you can see the cookies are not deleted so we have to add the code for this go to login.php again add else condition here if is set dollar cookie give the cookie name so to delete the cookie we need to give a past expiry date so instead of plus give a minus which means cookie is already expired and it will be deleted similarly for other cookie also just copy this so now test it refresh it cookies are available i log in again uncheck this click on login so now we can see that both the cookies are deleted now log out click on login and now we see that email is not displayed here and this checkbox is unchecked so our cookies are also working fine in the login form so we have used both php session and cookies in our login form and they are working fine so this way you can use php session and cookies in a php login form if you like the video please give it a like and subscribe to my channel you can download the source code from github please see the video description for all the related links you can display animated toast message after successful login using css keyframe you can display login successful message watch the video on the screen to learn how you can develop it thank you